hello how are you guys doing thank you so much for clicking on this video okay so this is gonna be a love reading this is gonna be uh for any zodiac you can be any zodiac sign and i'm gonna look at your energy and the person um on your mind or the person you're dealing with the next person that's coming in we'll get more clues as the reading comes out okay so Video resonates and you want to like and subscribe i would appreciate it okay let's see what's coming up let's see you know we got the queen of swords which with a bunch of cards behind it i feel like you're sick of the like bs you're sick of the being promised everything and, you know, fighting for something and somebody's not fighting for it as well. Blah, blah, blah kind of energy here. You could just feel like, you know, you want to be in love. You want to fall in love. You want somebody to show up. You want somebody who's ready to give their all like you give your all in love. You want like this to be it, you know? And it's like, hey, universe, is there something else I'm supposed to be doing to make this happen? Let me know. I'll do it. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like. Okay, so this is your energy. This is going to be your person's energy. This is how they view you, how you, um, or how you view them, how they view you, your actions, their actions. Do we have a King of Pentacles? Okay. Could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn person. It doesn't have to be, but this is, you know, when the King of Pentacles comes forward, they come forward because they want to commit. Um, they don't engage in anything that they're not committed to. Um, so that's kind of the energy that this person has. They ha they see this going places. They want to invest in this. Uh, they want to build something uh, more stable. And, you know, they're slower to move forward. They're slower to make progress and to invest. But that's because they're actually going to invest, you know. So that's kind of... Um, yeah, you know, you could have been waiting for a person to make an offer for quite some time here and just feeling like, okay, when is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? You know, so somebody could have had feelings, but they were holding back because the Knight of Pentacles is not moving. And they have everything that they need. They have reached these fields where the fields are ready to be, you know, whatever you call it when you uh, plant seeds, plant seeds. So, you know, the, the, the knight knows what he has to do. He has the capacity. He's where he's supposed to be. Like, everything is right. He just has to do it, you know? So there's been, like, some transitions here. We'll see more about this. Okay, so your energy... You have the Nine of Wands, you have the Moon card, and you have the Ace of Pentacles here. You're a little bit skeptical. There's a little bit of skepticism here. There's a little bit of, you know, a mystery here. You could be in this energy where you're a mystery to other people. Other people, they don't know what's going on with you. You're kind of keeping things to yourself. You're not really trusting information with other people because you have something really amazing that you're working on um that you really care about and for a lot of you you know within your whole being there's something really amazing here a transformation that's taking place that you're you know taking this opportunity this ace of pentacles but you're also hiding it away you know this is like somebody who like disappears and they go through this huge transformation you know they you know change their physical appearance their style this is like this is like giving me the energy of like you know when like um miley cyrus was going from being like hannah montana i'm on the disney channel uh, you know i sing songs about horses <laughs> you know whatever to 
whoa, I'm, I'm a wrecking ball. I'm Miley Cyrus, you know, like she's a woman now, right? So there was a time period where we didn't see her. Where is she? We don't know. And then all of a sudden she had this picture and it was like, you know, her back is like exposed in the picture. And it was like, oh my gosh, Miley Cyrus, you know, Hannah Montana is a woman, you know, it's like, then there's this reemergence here. So you have this energy going on. You're doing this in your own way in your life, whether you're male or female, there's ways that you can do this and it manifests in different ways for different kinds of people right <laughs> so does not mean everybody out there is going to come out with this picture like miley whoa i'm ready i'm out no it's just like um there's something here about this you're wanting something different in your love life and so it's time to come out now but you're a little bit like i don't know i don't know about this i don't really know and other people they see you as this mysterious person you're being very mysterious and the mystery draws people in so I feel like, you know, you're drawing people in with your mystery and you don't even know it. Okay. You have the King of Cups here with the Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles here. You could be dealing with a person who is emotionally manipulative. That's what this energy is. If you've been dealing with someone who's emotionally manipulative, you pulled away from this person and you're working on new opportunities for yourself. This mystery about you not doing things that you used to do, not responding to things that you used to respond to. There's some kind of physical changes. There's changes in your social circle that they may hear about in some way. There's changes in your life. Like they hear through the grapevine of things happening for you you know but it's not exactly all the way out there yet but there's hints of it you know and this person may try to come back in and manipulate okay because it's like the seven of swords is a person who you know this is the live scene stealing cheater card this is someone who is going to find ways to do things that they're not telling other people because they have another thing that they want to achieve behind the scenes. That's what the Seven of Swords kind of talks about. And the Six of Pentacles is also not equal give and take in a love situation here. So it's like, why is this person, this is how this person has been showing up for some time for you. And this person is still in this energy of masking emotions and emotional stability. But at the same time, there's no ground there. It's like they want to pursue you in a way, um, in this loving way, but they don't want to do any of the work as far as the commitment, as far as the, you know. So I feel like these are, this is two different people. So, so it's like somebody who, you know, they're they're not staying they're not consistent they come in for something and then they go and then they're astonished when you don't want that to happen anymore and it's like they're trying to uh manipulate your emotions it's 100 what it is they want you to give them what they want but they're not giving you what you want and so they're just going to kind of try. It's like sometimes we set boundaries with a person and we tell a person, this is what I'm looking, this is what I want. You know, let's say if you want a commitment, I want a commitment. Let's say this person wants a friends with benefits um, situation here. And you're like, I don't, I don't want that kind of a situation. And this person is like, okay. And then some time passes and then they're like, I really miss you, you know, how are you doing? You know, you look really good the other day, you know, and you're thinking, oh, I told them about the boundary. So now they're hitting me up. So this must mean that they want a commitment. And then when you're in their presence, you don't realize that they're not wanting this commitment. They're just saying a bunch of nice things to you. And then they do the same thing again and they're gone again, you know. So this is you realizing, hey, I said boundaries here. So, you know, you're not coming back in here with this, this kind of um, energy here because it's like someone trying to masquerade as a healthy person. 
that has emotions for you, but they don't want to let those emotions take shape and offer a solid commitment. You know what I mean? They want to use those emotions to get what they want and to go. That's not fair to you. So, let's see about this. So, this is just as interesting and this is transformative because you have the sun and the moon on your, on your side over here. So, there is a transformation that's happening. There's some kind of clarity here that you're realizing. You see clearly who this person is and this person doesn't see clearly who you are. They thought you were someone that they could manipulate and you're not. <laughs> you're showing them, um, no, 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 no. The moon represents this kind of confusion, right? And the sun represents this kind of clarity. And you see this person now for who they are. You seeing that. You see that this is a person that does nothing but disappoint you. You're seeing that this is a person that, you know, you fight so hard, you fight so hard, but at the end of the day, if you win, you still feel like you lose. Like, what's the point of that? You see this person as you have this childlike, joy-like connection with them, compatibility, and you see a way that this could happen and this could work, but that would involve them wanting to make this change. That would involve them wanting to be clear and line up with what it is that they're actually wanting here. And you see this person as, I, I feel like you see this person as not capable of giving you what you want. Very interesting. As they need to heal their inner child here. It's like within them, you know, they want to be with you and they want this to work. This is not a question of whether or not this person cares for you. This is a question of how does this person treat people that they love? They don't treat the people that they love with respect. They don't show up for the people that they love. So you will be left out in the cold every single time, left to fight every battle on your own. You know, your defenses are up for a reason and they should be because you, you know, there's plenty of people out there that will love you that are actually great humans that, you know, not this person's not a great human, but someone who's like in balance and someone who does treat people that they love like gold. That's how you deserve. That's what you deserve, you know? Wow. See, this person, they know. They know. They know you're it. You have the Ace of Cups here. You have the Two of Cups. They see you as a person who, like somebody else is going to come snag you up with this King of Wands here. They see it's like, okay, it's only a matter of time before somebody comes and grabs this person up. Somebody wipes this person up. Somebody, you know, how do you say that in the male way? I don't know. Husbands this person up. That's not a thing, but you know what I mean. So this person sees you as somebody that you could have a healthy relationship, you have a lot of love to give and there's a lot of passion here as well and you deserve an equal partnership. And they know that, but they're not changing the behavior to make that happen. And so I feel like this person is absolutely right. There is another person that is gonna come in and make this beautiful offer here. And then this person, now we have the Queen of Cups here, which is very interesting because this is the divine feminine. A component to the king of pentacles here and so this is a person who's disappointed they're analyzing this cup here they're thinking about why didn't i offer this why didn't why what wasn't i willing to be vulnerable queen of cups talks about this why wasn't i willing to put my heart out there why wasn't i willing why didn't i do that yeah because that's a choice that they made your actions here look at you yeah you're taking this new opportunity in love you have the fool you have the two of wands and you have the page of cups here so this is saying you know what I, I can I can have a new beginning on my own there's a whole world out there for me there's plenty of people out there um that would be uh you know that are that would be thrilled to be in a relationship with me that do have a lot to offer that see the value in me and you know you're out here, you're flirting, you're out here, you're going here, you're going there, you're having new experiences that you're excited about and seeing, is this going to go somewhere? Is this not going to go somewhere? We'll see, right? Um, yeah, this is healthy. Okay. 
You have the Nine of Cups, you have the Eight of Cups, and you have the Three of Cups for this person. So it's like, yeah, they're going to come back around again, and they're going to try to flirt with you, and they're going to try to, you know, create something here. But at the end of the day, it's like they have the Three of Cups here. Are they done with, you know, keeping their options open here? You know, once you walk away, then they want to come forward. But then once they have you, it's like they cannot seem to form a way to stay. You know, I feel like this Eight of Cups, this person is just realizing that, you know, going out with these people, all of these things that they've been doing, this is not what they want anymore. And there's some things that they need to heal within themselves so they can find someone that they can have a stable beginning with here. I see them trying to come back in and offer you something here, you know. Um, but ultimately I don't, I don't feel like you're going to go for it. I just don't, I feel like you're over it. And I feel like, you know, you have somebody here who has gone through this transition in their life and who is ready for a stable commitment, who has something solid to offer you. And, you know, they're a healthy person. They're, they're a person who, you know, you could actually have, um, a connection with and you'll know because it starts this way in the beginning you know you want somebody who's already there not somebody who has the potential to get there one day right we're looking for a partner not a project and you want somebody who has to offer just like what you have to offer it's like you are what it is you want to attract but the problem is you accept people that are not on your level they're just not and this is their choice to be this way. They, they, well, why are you this way? You, 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 they could have taken time to check within themselves, to heal themselves, to make them not this way. You know, and they decided not to do that here. But here is the thing is where you have to realize you can't just let anybody into you. Not everybody just deserves to be in your life. They just don't. And that's that. You know? And, so, and that's not even judging that person because it's like you want this. Not every person on the planet is going to be the one for you. You know what I mean? That's something special for a reason. Um, and, and you seeing yourself as special, seeing yourself as love, as high value, you're going to attract a person who sees that in you as well and vice versa. You know, you're seeing that with them. So this is like a beautiful transformation of finally letting go of a person who's just dragging you down, dragging you down, dragging you down. Um, cause it's like, I feel like your spirit guides are tired of seeing you upset, it's tired of seeing you, you know, in this energy of not trusting, of not being able to trust and having to fight so hard for everything by yourself. And that, yeah, it's time for that to be over with now. So let's see what these little animals have to say. <sighs> Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. That's right. Believe in yourself. This is what we're going to do. We're going to believe in ourselves and we're going to move forward. You're not going to let this uh, situation stop you and block you. Let's see if we can get anything about this King of Pentacles a little bit here, right? Because I like that. I really like that energy. You know, this person seems very different than anybody else. That you have been with. You have influence. You have domination. But you have versatility here. It's like this person. They don't. Um, they're not influenced by other people. By what other people think. This is not a person who's trying to influence you. Trying to trick you. Trying to do like love bombing or anything like that. You know this is what you're used to. You're used to people that uh, trick you. That's familiar to you. Uh, that's something that could have happened in your childhood. There, there's something here about that. This new person, they don't do that. They're honest. And it's like they give you a genuine, honest answer. And I feel like you're, you're not used to that. You're not used to somebody who's not trying to get something from you. So it could almost feel like, oh, is this a real elaborate scheme or something? And it's like, no, actually, this person is being genuine, you know? Um, you have domination here. I feel like this person is someone that over time, it's like you're just going to see, especially if you have a lot of options, that this person just stands out. There's something about this person that you always just keep going back to this person. Um, 
because of the transformation that they have made. This is a person that, you know, they know how to be in a lot of different situations. This is someone who, you know, is very stable, but also very open minded. That could be something about this person that stands out that helps you identify this person if you're trying to identify who this is. This could be someone who, you know, they're like very much so in the corporate world, but at the same time, like, you know, they'll uh, sit in the park and, and meditate. <laughs> you know, they have those two extremes where that's not usually, usually people are one or the other, you know, and this person is not... Um, they're not like that. So this is like proving a lot of things wrong that you thought because it's like this person, you know, someone can be, um, they can be successful and they can be loving still. Like that some, some people think, oh, successful people, they're not loving. They don't have a good heart. They don't care about anyone. They're heartless. You know, but no, this person is actually, you know, so there's like a well-rounded quality about this person and they fit in in a lot of different places. Like wherever they go, it just like fits. It just like works because this person accepts himself. You know, so they're not trying to prove anything to anyone else. And they're not only going around people that just have this closed mindset that they have, you know, so they feel validated. This is a person that, you know, they can enter into anything and they can find their way because they trust themselves, you know, and this is qualities that you have as well. So you're finally meeting a person that ultimately also has those. Um, so that's the thing is when you elevate yourself here, everyone is going to want to be with you right and so you have to be the one to recognize what is right for you and what is not right for you you know this could be a gemini person coming in you have sagittarius you have libra doesn't have to be scorpio is here too um leo aries pisces with the moon Well, thank you so much. I hope this resonated with you. And if it did and you want to like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it.